today I'm going to talk to you about my secret weapon when it comes to making myself look like I have way more hair than I actually have. One of the number one comments I get on my styling videos, any of my tutorials where I show people how to do a style, is that they just don't have enough hair for that. And while I'm aware that there are a lot of people out there that have less hair than me, I don't have that much. I've just gotten really good at making it look like I have a lot more hair than I do. And one of the biggest tools that you can utilize to do that is dry texture spray. This one right here is my favorite. This is the Surfer Girl by Sexy Hair. And it is just the one I go back to time and time again. I love the smell. I love the texture. I love that it's a spray instead of just a shaking powder. Um, there are other ones and you might find a different one that you like better, but this is the one that I like the most. As always, you can find all the products that I recommend in my Amazon storefront. Um, and I'm sure most usually can find this stuff at like Ulta. I think Sephora might even carry sexy hair. So there's lots of places to go and buy it. I love dry texture spray because not only is it going to give you volume, but it's got hold. So it is like the perfect combination of dry shampoo and hairspray. If dry shampoo and hairspray had a baby, it would be dry texture spray. You can get a similar effect with a dry texture powder, but I do find the sprays are a little easier to distribute everywhere. I prefer the powders when I'm really just looking for some lift in my root area. Two downsides that I like to warn people about about using dry texture products is it is going to make your hair appear and feel a little bit dry, but I mean it's literally a dry product, so you're adding a powder to your hair, so I think that's to be expected. It's also pulling some moisture out of your hair, and that's partly how it holds, it gets that moisture out, and it's how it creates texture. Your hair is really soft and shiny, you need your hair to be less soft and shiny so it holds that volume that you've created. The second downside is a lot of people feel that their hair is not incredibly touchable. But again, that's because your hair is not going to feel smooth and soft and shiny anymore once you've used it. But in my opinion, these two problems are a very worthwhile trade-off to hair that looks a lot fuller and holds the shapes you create. Not only will it help your curls hold and last, but when you do buns and whatnot, it's what's going to help your shape hold when you pull it apart as opposed to just flopping. So like I said, dry texture spray, especially this one, does have hold. It's only a hold level one. So your hair is not going to be stiff like a hairspray, but it's going to hold, just be movable hold. And that's what I like in my fine hair. I find things that are too strong hold typically end up weighing my hair down. So I'll spray it into the one side of my hair and we can see the instantaneous difference of my hair with dry texture spray and my hair without dry texture spray. Starting in my roots. And then I spray it down and make sure I get my roots under here as well. I try not to do too much because the more you put, the more dry your hair and texturized your hair is going to feel. But I mean, instantly, just instantly, you've got so much fullness, so much volume. And like, you can just see that the hair, I mean, it's going to hold whatever shape you create as opposed to a more flat shape on the other side. like this are just going to create so much space in your hair because of the texture that it will really appear like you physically have twice as much hair as you do and make it super easy for you to plop your hair up in a style where it looks like your hair I mean even my bangs look so full when this stuff is in my hair and I could just stick a clip in my hair and it looks like I have a ton of of hair and if you go back through some of my shorts and stuff you can see how fine my hair is if you're new here and you don't know how fine and flat my hair is just look at some of my videos where I don't have styling products in because this stuff it is life-changing if you have fine hair so I hope you try it out let me know if you need any other brand recommendations if you can't find this one in the comments I can make some other brand recommendations for you of ones that I've tried um, I haven't tried too many others because honestly, I just like this one so much. I, I, I'm not usually drawn to trying others, but I have tried a few others and I can tell, share those with you if you would like. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Like and subscribe so as it really helps me out. Thanks for being here today, guys. Bye.